What's up guys? So today we are gonna cover some pressing. I am not exactly the best presser and it is something that we are gonna be working on and have been working on, but I'm gonna give you guys some things that you can implement into your training to help you improve your shoulder strength and your pressing as well. So the first thing that we are gonna start with today is a dead stop press. So we're gonna start with the bar around our eye level and just work on the lockout and the extension of the triceps because that's typically where I struggle. So I don't know about you, sometimes I can get the bar off of my shoulders, but I can't finish the rep. So the dead stop press is gonna focus on the finished position of the rep today. So that's gonna be drill number one. What we are gonna be doing is five sets of six at a moderately challenging weight to where the bar should not be slowing down, but by the time you hit rep five and six, it's hard. And then after those five sets of six, I did one set every 90 seconds, you're gonna go into a max set. So pull off about 10 pounds, 5%-ish, maybe 10%, and strip those weights off, and then go into as many reps as you can, keeping the speed of the bar until you either hit failure or fall out of position. Once we're out of position, I'd call it there. So this is a little bit low for me, but I think you guys saw with Christy, it started at about eye level. I think for a lot of people that tends to be a sticking point. They get off their shoulders, but right at about eye level, it's hard to get over the head and then finish the press. So this is a great way to start at that sticking point and not have any of the momentum that we would have coming off of our shoulders. Same thing when we come down for reps two, three, or whatever comes after that, we don't get that bounce or that body kind of uh, redirect that we would be pushing the bar back off of with. So when we come back down, we'll come to a dead stop again start from scratch and have to work through that sticking point. So it's a good way to pinpoint that spot and work on it specifically without having to just do strict presses. So when I'm setting up for this, I don't know if Patrick touched on this or not, but basically you wanna be in your strict press position. Notice, yes. I'm on my toes so you guys can see me over the bar. But when I am setting up for this, what you wanna think about is making sure that our elbows are in our strict press position so I'm active and ready to press straight up. We don't wanna be in a front rack position. The other thing I really like to think about is just making sure I'm staying under the bar and then I'm getting my, come under here so I don't headbutt the bar, getting my head through as fast as I possibly can and then lowering back down with control. This also directly transfers to strict handstand push-ups. So if handstand push-ups you can push off the ground really easily but you have a really hard time getting your head through, let's go ahead and give these dead stop presses a try. Next we're going to move on to push press. Something else that we can do to improve our pressing is a push press. Uh, we get to use our legs for this, we get to dip and drive and use some weights to be unable to strict press. Uh, this will work on overloading the shoulders, get them used to a heavier weight, and I see a very direct correlation between a good push press and those numbers going up with our strict press and those numbers also going up. Exercise number three to help build overall shoulder strength is gonna be the Bradford press. So it's a really great exercise that are gonna break your shoulders down and really help your shoulders grow because of the time under tension and the amount of reps. It's at a lighter weight, so it's gonna be hypertrophy work. And we're not only working the front of our shoulder by pressing up and over, but we are also working the back of our shoulder by bringing the bar forward again. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna set up in your press grip. You don't have to press all the way up, and in fact, we actually don't want to because we don't wanna hit that lockout resting position. But instead, with the barbell, we wanna just clear our head, keeping tension. Elbows always should stay pointed forward, so we don't wanna see our elbows rolling out. Then the bar hits our back, and we immediately change directions and bring it back to the front. Over and back is one rep, and we want you to do max sets at a lighter weight. So when I say max set, we should be aiming of three sets of 15 to 20 reps with some good rest in between to make sure we are recovered and we can hit the next set just as hard. All right, so outside of just pressing and pressing movement, something that we can do to still improve our press is work on our tricep strength. Not only will that improve our overall pressing, but it's also gonna help our lockout. So that finished position where we're almost at the top, but just that last little bit of lockout is gonna be all triceps. So if we can do things to improve that strength, our overall pressing is gonna improve as well. 
And the first exercise that we're gonna do to work on our triceps is gonna be a tape press. So laying flat on the ground, we're gonna have two dumbbells in an extended position, keeping the heads butting up against each other. We're gonna try to keep those touching the entire time as we lower them down to our chest, touch the bottom two and then the top two, pressing them back up. We wanna think about keeping our elbows flared out so that they're not coming in. That's gonna make our triceps do all the work. I think these might be too heavy. Never mind. And exercise number five to really blow out the triceps is an oldie but a goodie. And I feel like it doesn't get used as much anymore, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna isolate each individual tricep with a kickback. I like to hit 12 to 15 reps, so I go a little bit lighter and with a one second pause, so nice and controlled. So what we don't wanna be doing is just swinging our arm, losing control, but what we wanna think about is pulling our shoulder back, pinning our elbow to our side, and then we're gonna extend and hold just for one second and then come in nice and controlled. Our arm should be staying relatively close to our body. And when we do this, when you extend and hold, you should be able to squeeze your tricep. So that by the time you get to that 12 to 15 reps, your tricep just feels like it wants to explode. And then you switch and do the same thing on the opposite arm. Those are our top five tricep exercises that I hope were super helpful for you that you can also implement into your training to get stronger triceps so we can lock out those handstand push-ups, we can improve our jerk, and also just feel stronger all around with our shoulders. If there's anything or any other exercises, muscle groups, anything that you guys wanna see, any of my training routines or workouts as we train for semifinals that you wanna see, make sure you guys, sure you drop those in the comments below and also smash the like button because it really does help our channel. It's great to be back delivering and making some content with you guys and we're excited to share these next few weeks as we lead into semifinals. Have a great day and don't forget, smash the like button.